Hey everybody, how's life treating ya? I'm Russ Robo and welcome back to the Robot Arena 2 DSL Mod 2.2 Heavyweight Tournament of Robotic Champions Heavyweight Division. We've got some exciting matches for you today. This is the preliminaries round one. In our first round, we've got Team Red Zone's Second Sentinel versus Team Prehistoric's Grog the Vengeful. In our next round, we've got Team The Good Old Boys' Grizzly Bear versus Team Dragon's Shogun. In our next round, we've got Team Blackstorm's Industrial Coal Miner versus Team Spark's Critical Emergency. And in our final round of the preliminaries round one, we'll have Team Spikehead's Big Metal Friend versus Team North Polar's Snow Job. So, without further ado, let's get right into the rounds. Alright, and of course we're fighting best two out of three. Here comes second sec Sentinel versus Grog the Vengeful. Grog the Vengeful is spinning up to full spinning speed. Gets a strong hit against second Sentinel. Racking up points in no time. He's got to watch out for the hazards though. Second Sentinel is definitely well known for his control. Second Sentinel at only 36 points. Grog the Vengeful already racking it up at over 10,000 points. Second Sentinel's got to try to get that arena flip out or he's going to be in trouble. Looks like he's trying to work Grog the Vengeful over towards the floor flipper. If he can get him flipped over and counted out, he could attain a victory in this match. Or if he can flip him over outside of the arena, but it looks like he's only got his left flipper left remaining. The right flipper has been knocked off. And there goes the other flipper. That might be his last chance. And where did Grog the Vengeful go? Let me turn the face cam back on. You saw that, right? He just disappeared. What the heck? That's bullcrap. He just glitched through the arena. I... I'm gonna count that one as uh, sort of a draw for now. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below who actually won that one, because uh, that was a bit of bullcrap right there. I didn't see him get flipped out. He literally just glitched through the arena. It says Red Zone or Second Sentinel is the uh, winner of that one, but uh, let's do let's call that one a draw and then do two more for best two out of three and let me know what you guys think at home. Cause uh yeah he definitely glitched through that arena floor. Okay, uh let's try that again. Okay, Grog the, uh, Grog the Ventral spinning up again, getting in some heavy hits on both of those flippers of Second Sentinel. He's got to be wary though, it looks like he's getting close to the uh, floor flipper arena hazard. They both are. Second Sentinel already is smoking, something appears to be on fire inside of him. Grog's definitely racking up a lot of points with already 11,000 higher than last time. Whoa. Looks like he's getting flipped over though. He does have a sort of a fan that helps him from being completely immobilized. But it appears that Second Sentinel has pushed him up against the arena saw blades. Both bots getting counted out now. And the count out stops as Second Sentinel backs up and away from Grog the Vengeful. Grog the Vengeful just getting pushed around now. Doesn't appear that he's able to self right Nope, it doesn't appear that he actually spins when he's... Oh, wait, he could hit again. Looks like he's going to be able to self-right if he can just get a little bit more momentum. And the arena trap comes down. The pit has been activated. It looks like set, uh, Second Sentinel has now lost both of his flippers. And he's going to have to try to push Grog the Vengeful into the pit. Seems as if he's lost the opportunity. He's lost some of his drivetrain ability. Grog the Vengeful racking it up with over 18,000, 19,000 points now. It's amazing to see that he hasn't damaged the central control unit yet. Looks like he's taken off a wheel, both flippers, and done some severe chassis damage. He's got to be careful though. He's spinning dangerously close to that floor flipper. Second Sentinel over the flame pit trap. We've got over a minute to go of this carnage. Second Sentinel flashing in the red now. Heavy damage on his uh, right side. 
And there it is. Okay, so the first non-draw match actually goes to Grog the Vengeful. Now, normally I would count that as a win for Grog the Vengeful 2-0, but uh, because of that glitch, we'll give it a third match. I'll get that written down, and we'll be right back. All right, and we're back, folks. And in this match, we've got Team the Good Old Boys, Grizzly Bear, versus Team Dragons, Shogun. So, without further delay, let's see what these bots can do in the Robot Wars arena. I finally figured out how to set the orbital cam to, um, set the orbital, set the camera as orbital cam by default, so now I don't have to press F2 really fast, I just have to scroll out. Okay, and let me know what you think of that last match. The first match round I decided was a tie, let me know what you guys think, and the second one went to Grog the Vengeful, so that's a best two out of three for him. But it was, uh, that first round was pretty crazy. Looks like, uh, both of these bots are, uh, strong striking type bots, so it's a good matchup here. Uh, Grizzly seems to be dealing the brunt of the damage. Uh, Shogun is actually smoking. Apparently something gone in his own fire. Uh-oh, but Grizzly has lost one of his claws, and Shogun actually has a lot more points, uh, despite both bots being smoking and on fire. Uh, looks like Grizzly's got in on the side of Shogun now and is controlling this match, though. Shogun doesn't seem to be able to actually turn around towards Grizzly and actually defend himself effectively. If this keeps up, the ref is going to have to count him out. <laughs> they are spinning closer and closer to that floor flip, or that uh, arena hazard, though. I hope it drops a uh, refrigerator on. I hope it drops a refrigerator on them to make things a bit more interesting. But Shogun's still uh, in the lead with points, even after all this. Uh, still 17,000, but Bear with the control now is actually racking it up and. Um, uh, closing the gap right now with 15,000, nearly 16,000 points. Oh, and they're right over that arena hazard. Come on, you gotta drop something. I think one more time, and it's gonna drop something on them. They've uh, nearly, they've nearly become equal in points now, as Bear continues to control this match with over a minute and 20 seconds remaining. Oh, come on, drop the fridge, drop the fridge, and <laughs> drop something. They're pushing, definitely a very good push bot. They're getting in the strong forward strikes. It seems to be something wrong with that back claw though. It doesn't actually seem to be activating. Only the front claw now. Shogun still taking heavy damage. Grizzly now taking the lead in points with almost 20,000. About to hit it, and there it is! 20,000 points and the refrigerator dropped and screwed up my entire camera angle. It didn't hit anyone though. Oh my god, that stupid fridge. I have to stay away from it now or it's just going to it's going to completely uh Beauregard uh um Bogart my entire camera angle. Grizzly with now twenty one thousand six hundred and eighty points. Shogun still trailing at seventeen thousand. Yeah, it does it definitely looks like this one's going towards Grizzly. Shogun just can't get out of this at all. A slow spinning match of death here, and Grizzly actually it seems as if his weapons are firing, but they are not moving, so his he is either completely out of hydraulic pressure, or the battery is just too low to fire the weapons, or the weapons have some sort of malfunction right now, and it is just a shame. But uh, that one goes to Grizzly Bear. I might cut and paste a little bit uh, to cut down on some of the tedium. I'll get that written down, and we'll be right back. And we're back. All right, now prepare for the second round, best two out of three, Grizzly Bear versus Shogun. Let's see what these bots can do. Oh no, don't miss the first strike. Shogun comes in strong, avoids that arena hazard, just looking out for the pit. Oh, and an early flip by Shogun. Might be able to actually turn this one around and get the second match in the bag if he can just keep the, uh, I almost called him Gorilla. Grizzly Bear on his, uh, on his, um, on his bottom. Keep him on his head. Keep him something. Keep him, uh, out of the loop. Stay continue controlling this match using those swords effectively pushing Grizzly towards the Saw Arena Trap. Over towards the Flame Trap. And the, uh, all sorts of traps. So, this match completely opposite of the last one. Shogun completely controlling right now. Pushing Grizzly everywhere he wants him to go. Grizzly has actually lost two of his claws. And apparently is taking 
a massive amounts of damage. Shogun definitely didn't like the outcome of that last match. He's going to try to completely turn it around. All three swords firing in unison now. Grizzly taking huge amounts of damage. Looks like he's about to be kicked out, knocked out by Shogun for the second round. I'll get that written down and we'll be right back with the final round for these two. And we are back, folks. A great, excellent comeback by Shogun in the second round. One on one for these two. One and one. One for Shogun, one for Grizzly Bear. Let's do best two out of three, the final third match, to find out who's going to take it home, who's going to go to the semifinals. All right. We got Grizzly coming in. Just as Shogun last turn, it seems like they've uh, switched sides. All right. Both bots hovering dangerously close to that flame trap. Grizzly not wanting to let himself get flipped over so easily this time. Both bots in the corner patrol zone. Grizzly pushing Shogun up against the corner, holding him there. Definitely got the pin in this match. Shogun not firing his weapons. Not sure what's wrong with his weapon. And there's the fire. Oh, firing all three swords simultaneously to get the flip on Bear. Just like last time. Very good, effective maneuvering there with the weapons. Good control. Shogun pushed Bear up against the pit trap now. Activating the pit second, uh, a few seconds ago. Grizzly getting counted out. A mobile warning. Shogun dangerously close to that uh, trap a few seconds ago. Still controlling Bear. Looks like Shogun's going to take the third match to go to the semifinals. But Bear now being flipped over back on his right side. Has a chance to turn this around if he can if he can gain some control here. Bear getting pushed into the Saul traps. Taking some ankle biter damage from those Sauls. Now it looks like the now it looks like the drop hazard is active. But it hasn't dropped anything yet. And there's the floor flipper. Shogun better watch out. Ooh, just narrowly avoids that. Pushing Bear up against the side walls. Dealing massive damage with all three swords. Pushing Bear over towards the flipping trap. Shogun's gonna get flipped. Ooh, he's gotta be careful about that. But his swords are... Oh, four swords actually on Shogun. Not three, but four swords. Both, all four swords firing with more, more than enough power to flip him over and keep himself righted. Bits and bits and pieces of bear flying all over the arena. Bear smoking heavily damaged. Shogun with over uh, 37,000, 38,000 points. Grizzly Bear trailing with a respectable 19,000. Shogun with an amazing 41,000 points. A point total I think as high as I've seen it in this tournament so far. Grizzly being flipped over the saw blade trap. Shogun stuck on the trap now. He's got to watch out for that. It appears that his flippers are actually, or his um, his skids are actually were actually stuck up against the saw blade traps now. Form uh, and now the four flame. Grizzly Bear smoking heavily on damage. 22 seconds left in this match. Grizzly Bear taking damage from the saw blade traps. A wheel has come off of Grizzly. Still taking saw blade damage. Smoking heavily damaged. And he's knocked out. And that is a match and a win for Shogun with 47,497 points. A uh, very stunning victory for Shogun. I'll get that written down and we'll be right back with the next one. And we're back, folks, and it's round. We've got Team Blackstorm's Industrial Coal Miner versus Team Spark's Critical Emergency. Now, uh, from the original Robot Wars, I believe Coal Miner was one of the most was one of the heaviest damaging bots in the actual tournament, but placed up against Emergency, he actually had a heavy disadvantage, especially in an arena like this. So I'm wondering if it might be necessary to put them in a different arena aside from the Robot Wars arena, something like perhaps the parking lot, or the or uh, maybe the Metal Skull. Uh, the instant critical emergency gets to him, he's just going to flip him completely out of the arena. Uh, unfortunately, it might be the only way he can actually rack up points. So what we'll do is the first. Let's see, the first match I think will be in the was the battle box a good the battle box was a good one. I can try the first match in the Robot Wars arena and the second match in the Battle Box just in case uh, emerg Critical Emergency gets straight to Industrial Coal Miner and flips him out completely in the first few seconds. 
which is exactly what I'm worried about. I really think that's what's going to happen here. Uh, we see a Duster Coal Miner on the right, kind of tentatively, tentatively coming towards his opponent. Critical Emergency triggers the Pit Trap, immediately triggering the Pits. Seems like he's having some trouble flipping Industrial Coal Miner now. Industrial, industrial Coal Miner racking up points at over 5,000 already. Critical Emergency having difficulty getting the right angle and getting up under. Uh, industrial Coal Miner, now he is up under Industrial Coal Miner. Unfortunately, it appears someone has lost a flipper. Critical Emergency seems to have lost one of his self-riding flippers and a spike. Industrial Coal Miner dealing massive amounts of damage already at over 25,000 with Critical Emergency pinned up against the sidewalls. Um, I believe we'll stick with this arena. It appears to be his only hope in this uh, in winning this match. A totally different result from what we got last season from the uh, base Robot Arena Wars game. Completely different. Industrial Coal Miner with a resounding victory with over 38,000 points match win for Industrial Coal Miner and we will definitely be fighting in this arena again so that's one uh, win for Team Blackstorm's Industrial Coal Miner let's try that again uh, Critical Emergency which is interesting I believe uh, wasn't he last season's winner for the Robot Arena 2 tournament uh, just the uh, vanilla version of the game that was a surprising victory or at least um, even if it wasn't as surprising, it was definitely hands down. Okay, both bots coming in now. Ah, and then uh, Critical Emergency seems to be able to get a better angle on um, Industrial Coal Miner. This time it seems like he's controlling the match. He's got Critical Emergency has Industrial Coal Miner pinned up against the back wall. But unfortunately it looks like an Industrial Coal Miner was able to get behind him and now he's on the sides. Racking up those points with over 5,000 already. Getting up underneath those flippers, exactly what it, the critical emergency doesn't want. He's pinning them up against the sidewall now. Hoping to get some saw blade damage from the arena traps. He needs to get that arena flip out or get him into the pit. It might be his only hope in turning this around. Get some uh, serious momentum there. For a heavy push up against Industrial Coal Miner, moving him towards the pitfall trap. Now the flipper trap. Both bots seem to be locked into a side dance now. Industrial Coal Miner using it his using it to his advantage to rack up massive amounts of points at already 19,000, nearly 20,000. Looks like it's going the same way as the going the same way of the last match. Now Critical Emergency doesn't seem to have enough power to flip Industrial Coal Miner over this time. That bot seems to be just too heavy. And, uh, Critical Emergency has lost both of its main flippers. It seems to only have the two side flippers left. It looks like one of them is just about to go. Taking heavy damage on both flippers now. Industrial Coal Miner with over 27,000 points and only a minute and 10 seconds left in this round. It doesn't look like Critical Emergency is going to be able to turn this one around. Industrial Coal Miner with Critical Emergency pinned up against the sidewall, dealing massive amounts of damage to that chassis, and there goes one of the flippers, and with only one flipper left, Critical Emergency is definitely in a Critical Emergency here, with 47 seconds left in this match, and a knockout by Industrial Coal Miner. 2-0 for Industrial Coal Miner, very surprising, good win on Team Black Storm, I'll get that written down, and we'll be right back with the next match. All right, folks, and we're back, and we've got the final match. Team Spikehead's Big Metal Friend versus Team North Polar's Snow Job. So without further delay, let's get back into the Robot Wars arena and see what these two bots can do. If I had to give a random guess, I'd have to give it to Big Metal Friend simply because he has a much higher weapons package. Uh, he doesn't... I'm not sure if he'll be able to actually control the match as well as Snow Job will probably be able to control it. Uh, snow job with a lot of pushing power here, definitely a lot of speed. Dangerously close to that arena hazard, nearly falling into the pit. He wants to push Big Metal Friend into the pit himself, but unfortunately falls into the pit himself. Um, with some better driving, Snow Job definitely could have had that one. Let's try that one more time. 
snow job uh, snow jobs definitely got to pull through uh, with a better uh, performance than that that is definitely a win for a big metal friend with almost no effort at all unfortunately on his part straight for the pit again goes snow job he definitely knows his win condition he just needs to control his movements better there we go there we go that's the good proper driving control from snow job pushing big metal friend around taking damage from those spikes though if he can get him into the arena hazard into the pit looks like he's unfortunately looks like he's unfortunately taking a lot of damage getting pushed to the side now big metal friend definitely controlling this match with over 27,800 points now up to 29 nearly 30 those hammers doing a lot of damage probably the spikes as well let's see if we can get a closer camera angle on that action I think that's about as close as I can get without getting into the floor. Uh, it looks like this one's going to go to Big Metal Friend for totally different reasons. We're looking at a knockout here, folks. 45,000 points by Big Metal Friend. Snowjob smoking, definitely on fire. Some control board damage is going on there. Countout initiated on both bots. Ooh, and a heavy hit. Snowjob bouncing off of Big Metal Friend. Big Metal Friend definitely the probably heavier of the two heavyweights if there actually is a weight difference in the two of them up to 58,000 points even surpassing the massive amounts of damage we saw earlier oh oh but it looks like ooh, very careful there and then another heavy hit both bots ricocheting off each other snow job still needs to put a uh, big metal friend into the pit trap or push him into the flip area Ooh, almost a win by Snowjob there. Both bots dancing dangerously around the pit. Snowjob trying to lure his opponent into the pit by teasing him in there. Getting him very close. With about a minute left in this round. Almost, almost a push by Snowjob. Definitely, uh, definitely more mobility and agility by Snowjob. But unfortunately, without the pushing power, he is unable to control this match right now as... as... Big Metal Friend just definitely takes the brunt of this match and definitely controls it. Looks like one more hit and we could be looking at a knockout for Big Metal Friend and there it is. Control board destroyed on Snowjob. Uh, Big Metal Friend by Team Spikehead is definitely a resounding victory with nearly 80,000 points at 79,157. So that is an excellent win by uh, Team Spikehead's Big Metal Friend. I'll get that win down and we'll have the preliminaries round two next week. I hope you enjoyed this video and the matches themselves. And until next time, take it easy, my friends.